I'll trust that most of you maybe read the document, but in case you didn't, uh, I'll give you those crib notes. The first action item is connect housing to communities of opportunity. Ensure a productive and sustainable housing delivery system. Number three, diversify our capital base and maximize connections to the capital markets. Number four, accelerate the pace and scale of innovation. Number five, communicate why communities of opportunities matter. We're delighted to have you with us today. I'd love to invite up our panelists to join us now. What are the biggest obstacles that are blocking the path towards opportunity in this country? The mismatch that I think is really profoundly you know, hurting our chances of being able to provide and really uh, you know, uh, manifest opportunity is the spatial mismatch between where opportunity is and where the people who need opportunity are. And we've never been able to figure out a way to kind of bridge the gap between the need and the opportunity. One of the strongest recommendations, as I mentioned, coming out of this paper is to think about how uh, the community development field can really wrap their arms around some common set of metrics. Can you share a little bit about how you're thinking about this? I would encourage a focus on children. What do we know about what communities are good for children? Unfortunately, we don't know exactly what it is about. We know that there are places that aren't and you know where you live shapes who you become, but we don't know exactly what it is about where you live. And I'd say there's sort of three things from research, I would say, the sort of three most critical elements. Um, one is safety, public safety. I'm doing work now with colleagues at NYU showing the, the really profound effect that exposure to violence can have on children and their performance in school. Secondly, you can't ignore schools and preschools, and, and there's a good deal of thinking about that um, from the education side, about how you measure a quality school. And finally, I'd say that you know, there is growing evidence that housing itself matters. Um, and we don't know, again, exactly what it is about housing. It doesn't seem to be larger housing or fancier housing, but there is something about the security and stability of having a safe and affordable home um, that um, allows parents not to be as nervous and anxious about how they're going to pay the rent and allows children to stay put. Um, that, that really is critical. And, you know, in venture capital, failure is kind of a badge of honor, and, you know, you haven't really f succeeded until you failed a couple times. In corporate America, it's kind of a fact of life, you know, stuff happens. Um, in philanthropy, it's not an option. And so until we get those who have the most risk capital get more comfortable with taking those risks and publicizing what worked and what didn't work, I think it's going to limit the risks they're willing to take. And I think we need to hit a couple home runs and be willing to strike out, and we're kind of going up to bat and hoping, you know, we get a walk. Uh, and that's not going to change the communities that we uh, you know, need to see the change. We're all very familiar with the uh, most visible expenses of community development, affordable housing, charter schools, small businesses, and low and moderate income areas. It costs a lot in terms of subsidies to support those developments, the tax credits, the grants, vouchers. Uh, but there's also costs of not providing those subsidies, uh, costs that are very difficult for all of us to see but are very real nonetheless. What the enterprise paper document talks about is externalities. So the cost of a long commute, uh, the burden on our roads as renters in need of affordable housing are pushed farther and farther away from their jobs. Uh, or the cost to a child's education because the parents have to move frequently two, three, four times during the school year uh, in search of an affordable place to live. And we finance quite a few charter schools in the District of Columbia, and we see that as a significant issue. The long run benefits far outseed the cost. Uh, and uh, these are the things that we just have to kind of always r remind ourselves and also measure yeah. mm. and report on so we can kind of always confirm that this is the way to go. And sometimes doing the right thing is more complicated and more expensive, but it's worth doing. I think that's a great note to conclude on. A nice, inspiring uh, note on the possibilities if we all work together on creating new solutions and co-create. I hope that you enjoyed the presentation and panel discussion. <laughs> I hope that this event will convey the urgency that addressing our future requires. And it certainly underscores, at a minimum, that place and people are really deeply connected. There's a really important intersection there. But there is so much more that we can do together. At Enterprise, we believe our action agenda provides a roadmap for that goal. Mm -hmm.